And to me, it is uh, right on the merits, and it is also a very, uh, I, I, I'd like to offer it as indicative of a difference in governing that I believe in. We must govern again for the long term. We have been governing for the short term for a long time now. You know, in business, I wonder, Ralph, if you see this. When I was in business, all this pressure to get results in the next quarter and, uh, and, and sometimes, sometimes sacrificing the long-term interests of the, of the enterprise. I think that has crept into government, too, where we govern for the next election cycle. I think my, my, my uh, well, I won't, I won't name names. I think there are some who govern for the next news cycle. Um, and we aren't making, but we aren't making, we aren't making long, we aren't making decisions today that serve our interests tomorrow. You know, it's not, for me, about tomorrow's headlines. It's about lives that get changed the day after tomorrow and the day after that. And that is what I think early um, education and uh, universal pre-K is about. Now, it's a phased in um, um, initiative because we don't have the money to do it right now. And there isn't one way to do it everywhere else. That's the other thing. Um, so we've, we, we have a... Uh, we have a new, um, uh, or we are further better supporting a, uh, a, a bureaucracy within our education secretariat that focuses on early education and care, um, that is developing standards and putting some, some money out. We put uh, tens of millions of uh, pilot money out in the last few years, and we've, we've grown it in the two budgets I've filed. But that's where we're headed. Governor Patrick. Hi. My name's Leslie. We met. Yes. We Hi, Leslie. Um, I, I see first, you have a written question, though. I'm always afraid of people whose questions are written. <laughs> these, are, these are not written questions, but they are notes from your wonderful speech. I do have... Uh, um, she's softening me up. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> As an attorney practicing here in Cleveland, I want to thank you, first of all, for giving several wonderful examples of the civic and uh, democratic hearts of attorneys in this country. We've sort of made it a great place to live, I think. Yes. And we're going to keep doing that. And the two examples that you gave both required a tremendous amount of courage. Mm. So to be active citizens, it seems to me that it would require personal and professional courage. I want to ask you to describe the personal journey that you took uh, and I know that you've shared openly that your daughter is a, an, a lesbian. I'd like for you to talk about your family and particularly you, your personal journey in acceptance and embracing of her. Well, you know, my, my personal journey in accepting Catherine started on June 27th, the day she was born. I mean, you know, she's my, she's my baby. That, you know, as my wife said, uh, she was a good kid before she told us, before she came out, and she's still a good kid. Um, she, uh, she, um, I will say that, um, that, by the way, does everyone know what we're talking about? Some of you do. Our daughter, uh, our youngest daughter, Catherine, the one, the Four Seasons Catherine. Um, <laughs> I should have known. Um, uh, she, uh, she came out um, last summer. And um, you know we'd just gone through all this drama in the in in Massachusetts about uh, uh, about the Supreme Judicial Court decision and then a ballot initiative to um, amend our Constitution uh, to uh, in my view reinsert discrimination into it which we defeated um, and she was very proud of me and um, and all that and then sometime that summer she told us and we were and she kept trying to get our attention we have these lives you know my wife is a lawyer as well. And I have this job, and uh, you know it's all we can do to give each other a kiss in the morning. The the night is out, but the the, the morning we might get a we might get a kiss. And we were um, no no a kiss. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm telling you, what what is in the water here? Anyway, so. Uh, I think you get what I'm trying to say. Let me just talk to you, Leslie. Cause, <laughs> um, so uh, we were we we were um, at our um, uh, place in Western Massachusetts and organizing a family picnic. And Catherine kept trying to get our attention, and everybody's grabbing stuff to um, 
go off on this picnic and she finally just grabbed the two of us and said look stand here I have something to tell you and and we uh, and she told us and uh, and I threw my arms around her and then Diane threw her, uh, her arms around the two of us and we and we said uh, you know so <laughs> and um, and then went off to the picnic I think that that is where it would have ended but for the fact I have this job and Diane made the uh, point you know what if this is if 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 we if this is really what we believe, meaning that you are who you are, um, and that has to be respected, we wouldn't put a press release out saying she just told us she was straight. How come we have to do that if she's uh, if she's telling us she's not? And uh, and I was wisely counseled by um, by uh, our press people that. You may feel that way, but that's not the world we live in. And rather than have somebody act like they got you, then you tell the story. And so we gave, uh, we gave one interview to one newspaper, just one, and we said that's all we were going to do, and they were very respectful. And the people of Massachusetts were marvelous, marvelous. I mean, we had people who wrote um, uh, Catherine saying, you know what? I don't like your choice. Choice. That was the term. I don't like your choice. But I love that your family loves you. And I understand that. And to me, I, if I may just build on the, on the point, Leslie, um, there is a, there's a kernel of something powerfully hopeful in that to this point I was trying to make in my remarks about how we don't have to agree on everything before we can work together on anything. We have got to find common ground. And I think that does not require that we water down or run away, uh, away from strongly held views. It means we show some respect for differences. And, uh, and then we work together where we can. So, uh, you know, for me, it just, you know, it was a, as I said, I think the people of Massachusetts were marvelous. Um, the press has been marvelous, and they aren't always, but they have been uh, very, very respectful. And, uh, and, and Catherine is, you know, is great. Yeah, Life goes on. And then... <laughs> well, if we got him on a slow day, I can't wait to see him at normal speed, so... <laughs> Well, today at the City Club, we've been listening to a special program featuring the Honorable Deval Patrick, Governor of Massachusetts. Thank you, Governor Patrick. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And this program is now adjourned.